Hello and welcome to the C++ and Science YouTube channel, where I will teach you various topics around C++. I'm your host, Andreas Fertig, a trainer and consultant for C++. C++23 time again today. We are looking at the improvement which also affects lambdas. Here I have my motivating example. I have a lambda lamp here which captures nothing and takes one example parameter here. And this is the part that's new in C23. We can put static into the specifier list of a lambda here. So if I do the transformation, then we can see that this static we have here now applies to the call operator of the lambda. That one now becomes static. And that means that this is like any other function you can have inside a class. If you make it static, it's only in the namespace of this class, but no longer carries a this pointer. There is one slight change that comes with that. If you look at the end of the declaration here, it's not saying const. If I take away the static, then we can see, oh, because our lambdas by default do not allow changing anything inside the lambda of the captures, my call operator here is const. This is no longer required and possible if we make that operator static. So in C++23, we can now have a static call operator as well as a static array index operator. These two changes are handy if you, for example, deal with a lambda or your own callable, your own closure type, and inside the call operator or the array index operator, you need nothing from the class outside. You simply needed this class to be able to call something like a std algorithm, and then you can save yourself a few lines of assembly code, because this means here now that the compiler no longer has to treat the this pointer, it's simply not there. What it means in code, so this example here uses once again a lambda lamp. It's captureless. This is important. You cannot apply static to a lambda that captures something. It's only valid for captureless lambdas because, well, if you capture something and cannot access it, it would be, well, unuseful. This lambda also takes a single parameter and static here this time is a macro. One compiler sets it to nothing, while the other one here sets it to static. Inside it just does some comparison and the example here is I have this function count taking a std vector of ints. It counts the occurrences of zeros practically in that std vector. So this is a typical example of a std algorithm where we need to provide a callable. And this is where often lambdas come into play. And this is something where we very often do not capture anything for the lambda. Here we can now see the difference the static makes. Without static, in this example, I have 30 lines of assembly code. Well, with static, I only have 29. Not a biggest save, it's, it's one line of assembly code. The difference lies here. The compiler has to treat the this pointer in the example without the static. And since it's not there in the static version, there is this one line of assembly save. It's one instruction, it's a bit of processing time. Scale it up to a larger code base, it might add up to something. Also, this example here will dissolve to nothing if I turn on optimizations, so it's not always that bad. But there are other scenarios where this static has some um, larger impact, so consider making your captureless lambdas static. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.